Hey Toronto, it's Mark Savelle here from SavelleBlogs.com and this video post is dedicated to anyone who's already purchased a condo um, and has run into the problem of hanging up a piece of art or a painting or a picture, whatever it be, on your walls. I'm in my office and I have uh, several photos that I've, or pictures that I've put up in the past and I've got them up with ease. Um, but it worked out for me because I had studs aligned in the wall and I was able to sort of mount these photos. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I looked for something that would allow me to sort of hang my pictures on the wall um, even where a stud isn't possible. Um, because a lot of times, especially in condos, you have your artwork up or, or if you're like me, you like things lined up a certain way um, and the couch is off or the TV stand is off or something's off. So I went to Home Depot. I'm going to try this new product out live. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, so it could be a disaster and my frame could break, but we're going to give it a go anyways. Um, what I'll be working with is... This beautiful photo I actually won from the Toronto Works for Haiti uh, silent auction that went on last week. It was a great thing that I was part of. And I want to put it up on my wall. And the problem that I'm, I'm having is there's no stud where I want to mount it. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up this thing called a monkey hook. Um, and its instructions are quick and easy to install. No tools or studs needed. So we're going to see how, uh, how well the monkey hook stands up. So here we go. Um... I'm just going to read out loud what I'm supposed to do here. Pick desired spot on wall. Check. Uh, mark insertion point. I already did it. Grip monkey hook as shown. Okay. Um, twist back and forth. Alright, here's the quick and easy part. Twist back and forth. Okay. Okay, so I'm through. Um, through dry wall if stud is found. No stud is found. That's the problem we're having. Uh, line as shown, slide shaft until fully uh, cradle is exposed. Ooh, I don't know about easy. It's, it's uh. okay. Let's try this again. I think my wall behind the drywall is too um, not enough space, so I'm going to try bending it a bit and see the success I have. Hmm. Not exactly quick or easy. <laughs> Doing more damage than I expected. Okay, so product review. Um, not the best thing in the world, but I'm going to get my vice grips into the picture and see if I could sort of edit this a bit and, uh, and, and get it to work. So let's see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my trusty pliers out. Um, I did some editing of the monkey hook and, and sort of bent it a little bit more. I think the problem I'm having is there's not enough space between the drywall and the actual concrete. Um, so round two, let's give it a go and see what comes out of it. Okay, this is easier. And I think I got it to latch on. Okay. Well, that was a lot easier the second time around, but the true test is if it could hold up my photo. Yeah. Okay, a bit of balancing, but not bad. Um, okay, you know what? The product is not bad. It's called the Monkey Hook. I got it at Home Depot, but I'm sure you can pick it up at uh, Lowe's or any other hardware store. Um, and... Give it a few days if the, if, if the photo falls down, you're definitely going to hear about it. But I think it's a pretty good product, and I was able to get it up fairly quickly with ease, and no stud was needed. It did take some editing with the pliers, but hey, if it saves me the hassle of, uh, of finding a stud and getting it in a place where I want, it's worth it. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about where you can pick up the monkey hook or have any other solutions to hanging up my pictures without causing so much damage. Leave me a comment, send me an email. I'd love to help. Take care, Toronto. Thank you.